guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Catalina. This is Catalina Plays. Today we're going to do something a little bit different with Roller Coaster Tycoon. I'm just going to be honest with you guys. I did not prepare enough in advance for today's episode. The plan was to get out part three of Dynamic Dunes today, but that's just not going to happen. Not only was last week my kids' last week of school for the school year, it was also my dun 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 my 30th birthday. That's right. I'm 30. It just hits different when I actually get to say I'm 30 playing games on YouTube. Man, is it going to feel real nice when I finally get monetized. <laughs> so today's video, I decided because I really need to practice my roller coaster building, we're going to do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and load up Forest Frontiers, which was the first level that we did. You could also go ahead and watch that episode. I'll link the card up there, <laughs> but you can watch it if you would like. I'm going to use this park to practice some ride building. I've actually already done it on my own spare time already. Let's see where it's at this one right here. So I was practicing with this thing right here. However, its stats are not very good. So I'm probably just going to delete it and start over with it. Let's see what the current stats are. It's a medium excitement rating, high intensity rating, and high nausea rating. So all in all, just not great stats. And I've been watching tons and tons and tons of videos on how to build a better coaster. So we're going to do that. All right, so instead of working around all these trees, I'm gonna go ahead and delete them all, which kind of stinks. I have these placed here because I was trying to get the excitement rating of the last ride up and it did work. All right, let's see. I'm gonna change funding if it's not already to make sure that it's on roller coasters. Okay, there we go. I don't know how many roller coasters will actually be opened up to this scenario, but we will surely find out. <laughs> I kind of want to do the wooden roller coaster, but I also don't know if this is enough space. Ooh, the wooden crazy rodent roller coaster. From what I've seen on YouTube, this isn't the best roller coaster. This has excitement of 6.4, intensity 7, and nausea this one has a less excitement same intensity and less nausea rating nine drops and five drops um i'm gonna make the this one because i actually i actually like this ride let's get down to business and defeat the game i mean i technically already beat the game <laughs> this one anyways okay so let's see if i can create a decent medium excitement rating ride out of this ride maybe high excitement rating but from what i seen in the pre-built ones was that they didn't have a high rating I wanted to do it without any of the bushes and trees because I wanted to see what the excitement rating was on its own and then see what changes as I add in all the bushes and trees. Um, and then maybe even add like a path or something around the ride and see if that adds any excitement factor to it. I would kind of actually, let's backtrack. I would kind of like it to go around like this and then have all the ride stuff happen in the middle and then connect it right here to the end. That's kind of my basic idea that I would like to do with this. So let's see. I think, yeah, the sharp turn will do that nice. Okay. And then now we can start playing with going up and down and all that. So I would kind of like to see, like just finish off this ride and see where the stats land for this. All right, so let's go ahead and see where the stats go for that. I think this is gonna be too intense. We'll see. Is it gonna fly off the track? It might. Here it is. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Okay, I don't think that was good. <laughs> Well, the max speed is only 39. Intensity is high, nausea is medium. Let's go not so high. Okay, let's see what happens now. By the way, this isn't how I'm gonna have my ride set up. This is just purely research purposes. That looked a lot more comfortable, except for this portion right here. I feel like there's some whiplash right there that we're not enjoying. Okay. We have an excitement rating, it's medium, intensity medium, and nausea medium. So not too bad. 
So I think we're going in the right direction. Let's let's keep improving it. So because this right here was such a whiplash moment, I'm going to focus on not letting that happen again. This isn't going to be able to be there like that either. Okay. Actually, let's just go up from here and hopefully we'll be able to do some sort of a churn here. Okay. And I'll leave it like that because I don't know which way it wants to go, but it'll go somewhere. I think I'm just too excited with this high incline. I don't need to use it though. It's fine. Let's see what this does. Basically what I did was go around in a big circle till we get to the middle and then it just kind of connects over here. <sighs> we'll see. We'll see what it does. If it's too intense, too many drops, too many lateral G's. I don't know. I wonder if mine trucks are more exciting. So after we do this round, we'll change it to mine trucks and see if that does anything. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh, I barely made it. Okay, I don't know if it was going to make that one. Oh wait, no, it should because this is... Okay, so what I'm going to do here is actually take this higher so that it makes it over here a little bit better. Okay. I'm just going to go once over here to take it around. And then we'll go down. Two, seven. There we go. All right, let's see. <laughs> okay, let's see what happens here. Okay, so I'm going to point. So far so good. There we go. I mean, it worked. I wonder if right here I should just turn it and then let it go straight instead of this. Right here. Looks a little wonky, but let's go ahead and see what the test results are. So excitement is at a medium 3.6, intensity medium, and nausea is low. I think I might be able to get the rating up by adding scenery and I was wanting to add paths. Maybe I can add paths that don't actually work as paths, you know, like they don't lead to anything. Oh yeah, I also wanted to see what happens when we change from mouse cars to mine trucks. Okay, let's see if the ratings change at all. Shoot, I don't remember what it was. I should have wrote it down. Dang it. Okay, so it's at 17, 397, and 226. I would also like to add more station platform. So I have a lot of space up here. I'm going to add it up here. There we go. And then we're going to move the entrance up higher. And the exit's fine right there. There we go. It didn't even add more of the cars. Oh, here we go. Oh, I gotta turn it off first. Okay, off. Let's add more. There we go. And then we'll see what the stats are now. So I personally prefer that the, um, the carts are consistently coming through. So by the time 
the last one leaves the station the first one is already back for others to load in let's go ahead and just see what the stats are because it should be coming through any second now okay so we are now at 318 it got more exciting it's the same intensity rating and the same nausea rating i'll just go ahead and add like nine seconds and then it'll probably come in better timing now so because i didn't write down the stats earlier i'm gonna check out the ratings for the mouse cars oh what a bummer they have like barely any mouse carts the mine trucks but let's just go ahead and see what the stats are and see if one or the other is more exciting okay that music whatever ride it is is getting annoying oh jeez. It's like eerily quiet now. <laughs> I wish we could customize like what we can and can't hear. I gotta turn it back on. It's way too quiet. I'll just put the volume down lower on my end. I also seen somewhere that painting like different colors that you use on your roller coaster can change the excitement rating. So it is slower with the mouse cart and that's probably because it's only one at a time versus the two carts which makes more weight. And then too when you have people on it it should make it go faster as well. Um, but I don't know if it will actually change the stats on. I don't know if that would actually like affect the stats. I think it kind of just makes it more dangerous for the ride that it might like break with the people on it. But again, I am not ent like entirely sure. So let's see, it is more exciting this way. It's a 327. So the excitement rating has gone up. The intensity rating has gone down probably because it's going slower it's uh less weight and the nausea rating has also gone i don't really know if that's worth having less carts and less space for people to ride the carts you know what i mean okay so let's go ahead and plop down some bushes we could do trees but here's the thing a tree will take up more space than a bush Whereas if you put a bush, you can put four down. You might have double the points if it's like a really large tree, but you could quadruple the points if you just put four bushes. So it might be kind of cool to put like this against this part. There we go. Okay, maybe on the other side as well. We could even line it up over here, bring it into the line. There we go. Fancy. I don't know if it counts all the way out here away from the ride, but I really wish that we can zoom in closer so I can like really get into all these details, but it's okay. It is what it is, right? So this whole area right here, I'm going to put bushes wherever I can. I don't know. I think the idea is to kind of make it look like a little secret garden in here. And then because paths do make it more interesting, I am going to add a path, even though it's not going to be a real path that guests can walk onto. It's strictly going to be there to hopefully, possibly boost the excitement rating. We'll see. And since I'm doing it in this like dirt path manner, hopefully it kind of just blends in and doesn't look too bad, maybe. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead also and add some trees on this side just to kind of make it look nice. Okay, let's see. Let's see if it changed anything. I wonder if I need to turn it on and off in order to get the new stats. So we're at 347. Oh, it did go up. Excitement rating went up to 347, but it's still at medium. <sighs> okay, what about changing the color? Oh no, it stopped. It broke down. Is that because it was in the rain? I hadn't even turned it on yet. It was literally just practicing or testing. Ugh, that's annoying. Okay, anyways, anyways, it's now moving. All right, let's see if changing the colors does anything. Mm, not from what I can see, but maybe I didn't pick the greatest colors gonna throw in any extra bushes I can anyway we're still at 347 which honestly is a little disappointing I really wanted to hit a four excitement rating okay 
now that I've looked at the other rides, mine looks like a little baby. <laughs> mine looks like a little baby ride. So we're going to up it. We're going to fix. We're, we're going to do some things. Okay. Let's turn it off. Let's go into here. Um, can this meet with the eight? I think so. I think we can put it down flat and the eight. Um, let's see. I wish there was an on ride photo thing. It does not, is, I, is that not available? <gasps> That's it. That's all we're going to get. Lame. Okay, so I really love how in the middle of this ride, there's this like calming, scenic area. I think that's really cute. I feel like on an actual roller coaster, I would enjoy that. Like going on this wild, crazy ride and then getting to calm down before we actually get off the ride. I think that would be pretty cool. Also, I wonder if this would be more exciting if it was lifted up high off the ground instead of being down. But I like the way that that looks right there, to be honest. Maybe I can do another one up here above that one. Maybe that would be kind of cool. All right, let's see what we got. It's coming in. Max speed was still at 33. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, I mean, it did go to high. It went to 695, but now the intensity is at 768 and nausea is at 448. What did they have for their rides? I'm curious. There's our 640. So I beat their excitement rating and I have a less intensity rating and a little bit higher nausea rating. And then their other one, the mini minor is 560, 770 and 410. Okay. So, so I don't love that the intensity rating is that high. I wonder if this is enough just to be exciting and then maybe not actually do that steep drop. Okay, so this ride actually looks pretty cool at this point. <laughs> I don't love too much that I have all this going on above my like scenic area. Maybe I could have gone around a little bit better so that there could still be this like open gap in the middle. Let's go ahead and see what the stats are and then I'll see from there. How long have we been recording? One hour. I could have finished filming year three on Dynamic Dunes in this point. You live and you learn. Um, let's see. Okay, it's coming down now. I can't believe I've really been building this coaster for an hour. That's insane. Whatever. Part of the process. I mean, honestly, I can already see a big difference from the rides that I normally make and this coaster. Like, this legit looks like an actual coaster. So... <laughs> A steep incline is not enough to keep excitement going. Our excitement is now at 354, intensity 388, and nausea 30. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and probably make one more go around. Drop it right here. Okay, I have faith that this is going to get the ride where I want it. To be honest with you guys, the last rating was not that bad. It was it had a higher excitement rating than the ones that were already pre-made. And intensity was just a couple points down. But nausea rating was only a little bit higher. And I don't really know how important the numbers are. I, I feel like the, the tiers are more important than the actual number. I mean, let's go ahead and click on the guests because they do say what kind of intensity rating they like. So maybe we can click around on a couple guests and see just what Okay, so they like rides with the intensity between 2 and 13. So theirs is really broad. More than 4. Less than 5. And more than 4. Average 
It's kind of interesting that this guy right here wants a medium intensity rating, but has a, a, no nausea tolerance. <laughs> and then this one right here likes rides that are less than five intensity, but has a high nausea tolerance. Like that makes absolutely no sense, but okay, why are you angry? What's, what is wrong with you? I'm not paying that much for a burger. Oh no. Okay, let's lower the prices of the burgers. I'm not paying that much for cotton candy. All right, and I haven't been checking out the stats on this coaster right here. So let's go ahead and see where it's at. Oh, excitement, 7.17. That is the highest we've had so far. Intensity, 7.85 also the highest and nausea rating 4.51 which is also the highest so let's turn this off and test one more time maybe just taking that steep drop off and see where it goes so the last time i took off a steep drop it made the stats really awful <laughs> All right, let's just see what happens. See, a piece of me also feels like with that excitement rating, we can afford to put the carts, but then the carts are gonna make it faster, thus raising the intensity rating. Let's see, the cart just came in. We still have a max speed of 33. Yay, guys, I think we did it. We found the sweet spot. Okay, let's turn this puppy on. I put it at $2. I don't know if they, aw, oh, and it's about to rain. The good news is we're about to sell a ton of umbrellas, unless they already have umbrellas. <laughs> the bad news is no one's gonna wanna ride the ride in the rain. Can't even see it in action with the guests. I didn't write them down, so let me write them down. We have excitement, 6.94, intensity, 7.62 and nausea 4.42 nausea rating is still a little high here actually let me do this i'm gonna go ahead and do what i mentioned which was to I hope it doesn't take the excitement reading too far down. I feel like I did this ride a little bit backwards. Normally these kinds of rides might have like this nice story scenic area at the beginning of the ride. I just realized that the beginning of this ride is actually quite boring. You can't see it because of all the trees on the outside of the park. Let's see, see through scenery. Here we go. It just comes around here. That's pretty boring, but anyways. Um, kind of did a little bit backwards but I really do like the idea of it having this garden in the middle maybe it would have been better if I started it that way and ended it this way average speed is 10 oh, really drop by that much are you serious okay there must be some kind of like a drop requirement or something like that what I am thinking now is that there's some sort of a drop requirement or like a height requirement in order for it to activate that higher excitement rating. I'm so tired. So what if I just made that go straight instead of slowing it down? Okay, so what I did is I removed this piece back here that was going straight because I think that technically counts it as two drops and then it also doesn't count it as like a hold. It doesn't put those two drops together to count it as a long drop. Um, so it's like two short drops, even though it's giving the speed of one fast drop. We'll see, let's see what it does. As Soon as I get this ride perfect, I am putting an advertising campaign for it because it's got to start bringing us the dough. I mean, we've been spending an hour and a half on this ride. I'm going to get my time's worth. I'm so impatient. Come on. It's back. 
It's back at the station. Tell me what it is. I'm tired. I want to go to sleep. Okay, so max speed is 35. It's faster. 35 miles per hour. I'm honestly in top. Not. Okay, hi. I'm so tired. Okay, and excitement is high. We're at 670. Two. Intensity is very high at 7, 6, and nausea at 4, 42. Um, bummer. I have a feeling if we move over to the mouse cars, we'll actually be in a better position. Oh, we can up them. Um, all right, let's test it out. I didn't realize that we could up how many mouse cars there were i guess i didn't really check it was set to six and i didn't click on it also i think this is still letting out slowly yeah let's do it at seven seconds because i want to make sure that that last cart is leaving as the new cart comes in so it went slower which we knew it would because the carts are um twice as big they're heavier all right we have 686, 748, 433. Um, so I would like to have the nausea rating lower, but I don't know if it's possible having the intensity rating high to have nausea rating lower. Okay, so this time I added just a smaller drop after the big drop, and then instead of bringing this all the way down to the ground, it's one level above the ground, so it's not dropping as much here for the second one. Um, I'm hoping that it won't like. Okay, it's not going too fast. Altitude, not worried about. I still don't understand how to use vertical Gs to understand how ratings work. The cart is now coming in, so let's see. It went up again. <laughs> I'm so tired. Our excitement rating went down from 87 to 84, 687 to 684. Our intensity rating also went down from 751 to 746, but our nausea rating went up from 434 to 435. And you know what? I'm starting to feel a little bit sick now too. <laughs> Uh, okay. Um, let's think. Think, 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 think. Okay, just a really quick assumption. We did another steep drop, so I assume the nausea is going to be worse, higher, as well as intensity rating. Uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and fix that. Okay, my assumption would be now that nausea rating would still be somewhat high because of the fact that we're doing like this little bloop 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 thing. However, when we did it up here or back here I don't think that really affected the ratings very much so we'll see how this affects the ride we'll see okay so I think I'm putting way too much thought and pressure on trying to get a lower nausea rating <sighs> All right, let's uh, let's see what the stats are. And I feel like whatever it's at, I'm kind of I'm just gonna leave it. I did it! Yay! I'm so excited! I can't believe it! I did it! Awesome. Okay, so we have an excitement rating of six point eighty four intensity rating of 735 um it's high but it's not extremely high so i'm good with that and then a nausea rating of 4.28 which is the lowest i've had for a high excitement rated round <laughs> so i'm gonna leave it i'm gonna turn on the ride 
Let's go. Bam. And now I'm going to go ahead and do a marketing campaign for the ride. Roller coaster. What? We should give it a name. Let's give it a name first. Um, I'm going to call it Pain in the Mouse. We should give it a name first. Where is it? I'm thinking, I don't know, maybe Pain in the Mouse. Because it was a pain in the you-know-what. <laughs> pain in the mouse. We'll do it for four weeks. There we go. All right. I probably should make the line larger. That's not a really long line. Yeah, I'm make a line over there. I want to have that cute scenery that I had. Pain in the mouse was great. Yay, they loved it. Awesome. Are the stats the same? 684, 735, and 428. Awesome. All right, guys, that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, especially because it is going to take me quite a while to cut down and edit this into some sort of a bite size <laughs> watch because I don't think anybody wants to watch me build this ride for two hours. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, anyways, I actually did enjoy making it. I enjoyed kind of messing around with it and trying to figure out exactly how the game figures out what is a good ride or not. If you guys enjoyed the video too, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. And if you guys have any suggestions on future rides that I can mess around with and try to figure out for myself, comment them down below. If you guys have suggestions on how I can improve my rides, I would appreciate that as well because it took me way too long to figure some of this out on my own. But nonetheless, I enjoyed my time. I hope you did too. If you guys would like to see more content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you could see future videos. For example, the ending to Dynamic Dunes will be probably coming out in the next week. And as always, guys, have a wonderful day and I will see you guys next time. Bye. We're about to have a thunderstorm. Perfect time to get off. Actually, is it? Because that means that the next time I get on, it's going to start with a thunderstorm. That's future Catalina's problem. <laughs> yes, replace it. Also, it doesn't really matter if it starts with a thunderstorm. It means I'll get more money because umbrellas. Also, if you guys are still here after that outro, thanks. <laughs> but the next ride build better not take me this long because it's kind of ridiculous. That is cool.